I'm here with Kim at Good Games Publishing. Can you tell me a little bit about the company? Uh, Good Games Publishing is an Australian board game company. We've been developing games done mainly by Australian game designers for about six years now. Sometimes we use Kickstarter, sometimes we go straight to retail, and we have partnerships with international distribution companies. So we're taking Australian design games uh, out to international audiences and partnering with other localization companies around the world to get games into other languages as well. That's pretty exciting. You've got three games here. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Sure. Um, well, we've got uh, our upcoming game, Too Many Cooks, which we're launching later this month. Uh, and that's a, a cooperative cooking game where you all play fussy chefs trying to make a soup together in a very short period of time, five minute rounds. So you have secret information. You don't know what, why everyone else is so fussy, but you've got to make changes to the soup and try and deduce what they seem to be so particular about and not willing to talk about. And you've got to do that within five minutes. So it's quite a fun uh, riotous party game where you get to role play being a uh, cranky chef. You can go full Gordon Ramsay if you want, but you can keep it nice if you want as well. So that's coming up later this month. Uh, Land vs. Sea has been a, a big hit for us. Um, this game came out late last year and it's a tile laying game where you make a whimsically beautiful medieval map together. But you score the map as you go scoring either land or sea areas and a few other tricks in the game as well. So that's been a great success for us as well. We've now got that in uh, nine different languages. So it's coming out all over the world at the moment. It's a very exciting one as well. Uh, and then uh, on the booth today, we're also demoing Guildmaster, which was our last kind of big box game. And that one uh, is a kind of like adventurer team management game. So you might have managed a bunch of adventurers, send them out to do different contracts, maybe hire more adventurers, upgrade your guild to do more of that kind of stuff. And that's a big table filling experience with deluxe art, big beautiful screens around the players bit of a dice chucker as well. If you like role-playing games, you'll probably have a lot of fun in that board game as well. So it's always been the goal to have a sort of very game experience that you offer your players? Yeah, we, um, we're very much into interactive games. So uh, we don't tend to do much multi multiplayer solitaire, as they say, in board games. So our games are all interactive where your decisions help form the decision field for all the other players. So you'll find that this game in particular is like everything you do gives your, your rivals opportunities. Same with Guildmaster, you're negotiating with players. Uh, too many cooks, you have to cooperate together and work things out, even through limited communication. So for us, the joy of games is bringing people together and getting them to play together, taking them into this really aesthetically beautiful space where they get to um, explore that space together and the interactions between the players. So that's very much about the type of games we do. Very pretty games, but with surprising depth as well. Now, so obviously you've got the booth where you've got people who are learning your games are either out or coming out, but you've also got another task today and tomorrow. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a really exciting task. So uh, PAX Australia is really good at bringing in game designers and game developers and giving them space to showcase their games. So PAX is a fantastic opportunity for us to pretty much look at like 90% of the game designers in Australia are probably here now showcasing their games and I'm going to be uh, walking around, trying out a whole bunch of games, looking for games that we might publish within a year or two. Um, so that's really exciting. I've got my eye on a few things already, some things I know about and I'm checking on updated versions of them. And some things are completely new to me and I've never heard of them. So as a publisher, it's just a fantastic event for us to go to and really, really well supported by uh, you know, PAX Australia tabletop side of things. And I think what's going on here might become a bit of a template for what happens in some of the international PAXs as well, because they're really innovating their approach here, which is really fantastic. So the collaboratory area, which some people might see a little bit scary because it's, you know, in progress games, yeah. sometimes they're not finished art or still maybe a little rough around the edges. But what they could be playing is the sort of the next big yeah, hit in a couple well, of years. We picked this up three years ago. Um, I sat down to a table looking at a, a more rudimentary version of this game and I was like impressed with what I saw this straight away. Um, Fluttering Souls as well, like that pick, got picked up here. We saw that game, it looked great. And I was like, please let it be good. And it really was good. So. We picked it up, um, and so yeah, you, you got a chance here. Uh, and there's a few other Australian publishers, Guff Games, um, Grail Games as well. Although I'm not sure they're here this time. Um, but yeah, there's a chance to, to find some international interest in your in your games. Thank you very much for taking through the offerings from Good Games Publishing right. and uh, sort of insight into some of the exciting things about packs. Okay, thank you. No problem.